show them something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. Something that they could see and touch. Creation is an act of sheer will. Life will find a way. Swarms of giant locusts are targeting farms and spreading at a rate that could disrupt the world's food supply. At the same time, a cloned teenage girl and a baby raptor are kidnapped. Two generations of dinosaur protagonists converge to save the day and the world's food supply. Hey everyone, welcome back to Prologue Movies Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Lubokawa, joined once again by Mr. Joe Panetta. Today we'll be reviewing Jurassic World Dominion, directed by Colin Trevorrow. In a world where dinosaurs exist, we find ourselves watching some weird Mission Impossible offshoot helmed by Chris Pratt. Let's get us some dinosaurs! Yeehaw! Di- <laughs> dinosaurs! <laughs> ah. This movie. <laughs> the dinosaurs. Uh, well, I know when I first started watching it, like, yeah. at the very beginning, I learned that why even bother putting a lock on something because you could just like drive through it or yeah. like crack it or like. The locks are meaningless in Dinosaur World. That's 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 one point I had. Dinosaurs are family. The other point I had <laughs> was let's just say somewhere somehow someone was really into cute dinosaur porn. You have found your movie. Wow, that was <laughs> something I did not expect to hear after watching this movie. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> nothing nothing but cutesy dinosaurs Yeesh. and and happy happy worlds. Um, no, thank you. But other than that, uh, it was fun. It was a fun movie. It, it, it had very slow moments and really jerky C- uh, CGI. Yeah, the CGI looked very uh, Tomb Raider 2, like Jaguar <laughs> chasing you in some yeah, points. I swear they looked pixelated sometimes. They did, and they had some weird phasing issues. I right. saw one, like, phase into another one. I'm just like, what the f- What? what? <laughs> yeah. I it was everything everywhere all at once. Yeah, it was too much for the brain. Yeah, it but, was just like... <laughs> seriously. But I will say this. The one thing that bugged me... Immediately. Was it uh, Alan Grant's old man hands? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. Gross. <laughs> it was a uh, it was the fake horseback riding. Come on, Chris Pratt. Why you got to like get into it? Did you ever so see Monty stupid. Python where they're like walking with coconuts and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, not in a long time, man. But yeah, yeah, uh, Jeez. Uh, there were. OK, so Jurassic Park one, like probably like one of the best movies like ever. Absolutely. Jurassic that was Park it. two, tolerable. <laughs> to- Jurassic Park three was the best sleep I've ever had. <laughs> well, Jurassic Park three is known for having the Al- Alan dinosaur dream sequence. Alan, 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 Alan. <laughs> uh, and that's that's really all that movie is known for. That and yeah. how did you get Tyrannosaurus P? You don't want to know. <laughs> Like that was like the joke. I have blanked that movie from my life. And then the Lost World. No, not Lost World. Jurassic World. Oh, two. There are actually more movies that have the word world right. in it. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's like poetry. <laughs> it's like poetry. It rhymes. <laughs> um, Think about it. <laughs> Jurassic World uh, was all right. Like it, it made sense. In the fact that they would have, they would eventually open that theme park, you know, and I liked it because it was a theme park thing, and I, I got a thing for theme parks, but it was just like it was attainable. That's did the you thing. ever see Westworld? No, Michael Crichton, the guy who wrote both of them, had yeah. two, two theme park oriented franchises: Westworld, which is a yeah. a world where you can do out live out your fantasies with okay. robots. So you can Weird. like shoot them and you know, have sex with them and stuff in like the West. Yeah. Uh, and then the other one was dinosaurs coming back to life. Oh. And then anyway. Wow. I guess Michael Crichton was big on like theme parks too. Yeah. There you go. Weird. <laughs> oh. Weird. <laughs> that, that's what the publisher said. <laughs> Ju- Jurassic Park, a uh, th- theme park where dinosaurs come back to life. Well, there you go. I Weird. Think, if you got a thing about theme parks, we've got dinosaurs. Yeah. Shut up and take my money. But yeah, that's the thing. That was the whole thing with that one. I liked it so much because it was so. Like attainable, and then and then while we talk about this movie, 
Yes. There's a couple of things I want to go through your mind. Like, one is why didn't they just call the cops? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> this whole but then again, it takes us back to whichever I forget which movie. This we movie could about. have been solved by just calling the cops. No, where it's like you know sometimes the military or the or cops are just not ready for that kind of altercation. They didn't call you know? the, nobody called the cops though. Oh, old man Alan Grant <laughs> and Ellie Sattler, they, they don't have like the mojo to like I mean like I'm glad they called somebody. Yeah. But they could just call the cops. Oh, I, I called you because like they call, we, we need you. They called some dude who is a techner for the CIA. Like okay, so he called Alan Grant and Ellie yeah. Sattler to go make it. He already had the clearance. Why didn't he take the video and go Anyway, let's get let's get back on track here. <laughs> it's Let's talk about the fake horseback riding. This movie has because plot holes. It has plot in holes. different area codes. <laughs> in different, yeah. Uh, so the other the, the other thing was um, there was okay. We'll get back to it too. But like, yeah, well, the, there, 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 the there, there was there was, was there was a girl in this movie who I kept calling Lois Griffin. <laughs> You're talking about, yeah, yeah. She, she looked like a man, uh, like a human, uh, a human a Lois hu- Griffin, a human, yeah, human <laughs> Lois Griffin. Uh, anyway, oh, so uh, goodness, if you remember from Jurassic, uh, no, yeah, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. There it, we go. I was like, what was the name of that one? Yeah, that one ended as a spooky horror movie for some reason. That movie was weird. It man. was weird. It ended. It started kind of Jurassic Parky, like the Lost World. Where yeah, they're like doing this, but then they. But then they all got out, and somehow, somehow, dinosaurs got out from a mansion and yeah. ended up everywhere in the world. Yes, and uh, that's the premise of this. But also, we we find out that there is a clone of James Cromwell's daughter. Yeah, and it's actually a clone of her daughter who died of cancer or whatever. Yeah, so she's been in hiding with Owen and Claire. Yes, who are played by uh, Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt, and Bryce Dallas yes. uh, Howard. Howard. Um, and uh, those uh, they're in hiding, and somehow Blue the Raptor is somehow nearby too, like hanging out like in the yeah. bushes, <laughs> she, like yeah. so, like just, with, with just the, you, and, and there's no explanation as to how or why she is she there found them or whatever. Yeah. And somehow she asexually reproduced uh, Beta. We find out later that it's because she has monitor lizard blood, which apparently they can asexually reproduce, which. Okay, well, I, I saw a movie once where Jeff Goldblum transported himself with a fly on accident and turned into a fly. <laughs> yeah. So anything is possible. <laughs> anything. In the movie world, and he's in this movie too. So this is a multiverse of madness. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. All we need is Gina Davis like screaming at him all day. What the hell is out? Lord of the Flies. <laughs> Boy, literally. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, and then that's 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 story A. <laughs> yes. And story Holy B. Holy crap! There are many stories. Just two. The story. <laughs> Oh wait, maybe stu- there's the, three. Well, the villain has a story. There we go. And by the way, this dude, <laughs> he must have seen Jurassic Park because he like knew that's how he was going to die one day. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> man. Either, either that or <laughs> he's calling his shot, man. Oh, or every time he watches Seinfeld, he's like, man, that guy looks like that jerk I said to Jurassic Park once. <laughs> Newman, we had a freaking evil like. Oh god, there's they, so much going on. They uh, they didn't hire the first actor who played Dodson in the first movie. Okay. Because he was a pedophile, but okay. Wow. So let's let's go back in time to Jurassic Park one. Yeah. Jurassic Park, the whole disaster is actually this guy's fault, Dodson. Yeah. Because if you remember in Jurassic Park, the first one, he was the one who sent Dennis Nadry, aka Newman from Seinfeld, yeah. to Newman, steal, Newman, to steal the embryos or to steal yes. the, the the DNA, the Dino DNA, <laughs> uh, and then the he's dinosaurs. the one who shut down. Jurassic Park and made yeah. the whole thing go to hell. Yeah, uh, and we haven't seen Dotson, even though Dotson was the villain, I think, in the Lost World book. Yes, but he was not the villain in the movie, which is weird. So now he's back as <laughs> as the CEO of Monsanto, and apparently they make dinosaurs too. Yeah, and he has a giant Apple complex in the what middle is, of nowhere. He is. I even wrote Apple it, HQ. Dude, it looks <laughs> just like the donut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so he uh, so he has Monsanto, and somehow he's like we'll Loop call Monsanto. Tra- I don't know the name of the company anymore. I was called uh, Apple. <laughs> let's call it Apple. No, it's called Crapple. It's called the. Uh, oh my God, what is the freaking Some, name? I was even thinking in my brain like he's talking about Monsanto. It's doing the theaters like it's called Monsanto. Like bastard, read my mind. No, it's called Cy something. Cy something. Cyclops. Biosyn. Biosyn. They're called Biosyn. You know, they're that, committing sins against biology. Oh, oh. oh. whoa. <laughs> Let's not bring out the dinosaurs. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, so storyline B. 
is uh, Ellie Sattler is uh, tracking down, uh, I guess, these uh, other, these these locusts, these giant, like, have you ever been on that time machine ride in um, Knott's Berry Farm, like, a long time ago? Oh, that one was awesome, man. They got rid of it. I know. They brought back Berry Tales. That ride sucks. It smells good, though. Uh, you shoot pies is what I'm saying. But I think I think they had in that right giant giant yeah. insects. Yeah, gi- it was like going back in time. It was as a child, it was mortifying, and then I got a little older. And I'm like, this is great. We've had this discussion. We have. I don't think mortifying <laughs> means what you think it means. No, we have. It was terrifying. <laughs> there you go. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> it's these fying words that are so throwing like me off today. Going back to episode it's one. It's been here. a busy week. <laughs> anyway, oh, we lost Ada. <laughs> No, <laughs> she jumped off the board. <laughs> Poor Ada. Oh, we lost someone else too. Oh yeah, it rhymes with Jose. <laughs> so, Jose. No. <laughs> so- <laughs> Hang on, Jurassic Park. So in Jurassic Park, yeah. Ellie Sattler. You'll remember him as a uh, Grant's. Uh, plucky love interest from yes. the first one. If you were talking about the big age gap between the two, I didn't notice when I was a kid. I didn't either. And now they're both old. I thought they were the same so age. Did I like dude. she was like 19 or something or something. Like, really? I don't know. But like he was like always old man like Grant, yeah. and she was He's like been young. the same old man and she looked old to me when I saw it. So I saw his like mo- old man hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the crypt keeper over yeah. there. Uh, he also looked kind of dumb too. I wish we had the intro to the what was that show the <laughs> you know who wrote that song who did Danny Elfman I was gonna say was it Danny Elfman yeah, totally Danny God, Elfman. that guy lives in our show I know he's so cool God, I love that guy uh, <laughs> uh, okay so so Ellie Sattler yeah comes upon uh, a farm that was just attacked by giant locusts yeah but they didn't attack the rival Biosyn farm. Yeah. So they just ate one farm. Everybody was like, hmm. Mm, that's pretty sneaky. Tin apples. Yeah. So she goes to Alan Grant and says like, aliens. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, the, that's the next one. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, I have a man on the inside of Biosyn, so we better go out there and yeah. And investigate this. Yes. And it turns out the man on the inside. The man on the inside? Ian Malcolm. Ah! Jeff Goldblum. So Jeff Goldblum plays Ian The Kaeologist. Uh, Alan Grant, played by uh, that guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shoot, I forgot his name. <laughs> Alan Grant. Alan Grant. It sucks because I remember. Sam Neill. Sam Neill and Laura Dern returns as yeah. Ellie Sattler. So the OG dinosaur protagonist. Yeah, so we have back. the three of them. The three amigos yeah. uh, are, are back. Uh, and I think, I think uh, at some point, uh, Jeff Goldblum does his like famous open shirt moment, <laughs> and he goes, "Oh, uh, <laughs> he, puts it, uh, he buttons it back up." <laughs> he was way more pretentious than he was in the Lost World. Yeah, he was like he wasn't to me in the Lost World. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't the same Malcolm that he was in Jurassic no, Park. They, but they, this one is more Malcolmy. And the thing is, I feel like uh, total like sidebar here. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> Jeff Goldblum has become Ian Malcolm in real life. <laughs> yeah, he always was. Yeah. More so now, uh, and then we go back to plot A, which yes. is the protagonist from Jurassic World. Yeah. So Claire is out like saving like poached dinosaurs. Yep, with the cute little triceratops. You know, yeah. Shut up, baby dinosaur porn. <laughs> no, uh, and stop it. <laughs> Where is it at? <laughs> uh, and uh, they save the triceratops, and then uh, they're taking care of the clone girl. The clone girl yeah. goes and like. She apparently knows how to like whisper to people how to get rid of dinosaurs when they're yeah. at gets, their quarry. She gets kidnapped. She gets kidnapped by uh, by the evil cowboys dressed in black. Yeah, and uh, pretty much. And then, uh, and so then we discover this marketplace of <laughs> in oh, Morocco. Yeah, it felt like a mission impossible. So the movie becomes Mummy Return slash Spy Movie <laughs> yeah. for like a minute, where they're at a black market dinosaur place so and they're slash freaking Jason Bourne motorcycle. Chase. How did they find this place again? Dude, I still have no idea. That's why I said it was very clunky. <laughs> yeah, somehow they just. I don't know if I said oh, it. Oh, I, I remember it. now. Tell let's, me. Let's let's. So one of yeah. their one of their plucky young sidekicks, the guy ended up working for the CIA. Yes, he found oh, out right. that this guy that Owen knew, he was the original Raptor yes. trainer. And this is why I said there was three three plot lines that kind of drove into the end. Yeah, yeah, so so he says that hey, there there's going to be an exchange 
in Morocco at yeah. the at the Mummy Returns place. Plotline two. Yeah. And uh, you got to go find like Lois Griffin because yeah. she has. <laughs> Dude, this lady. She looked like Lois Griffin. Hold on. <laughs> this lady looked like she tried to chew on all the walnuts and somehow they were sour. So <laughs> And she had a giant Lois Griffin nose. She looked like she looked like Ziggy. Yeah, do you guys remember that Snoop Dogg cassette where a Snoop Dogg is like a dog slash human? Oh in, yeah, like in the, on the front of the cassette. Oh, man, I'm dating myself. Is he look? She looked like a human dog. Yeah, and they played our, like slash like, Lois Griffin. Yeah, uh, and she she had she had the the clone girl and the dinosaur and yeah. and uh, and the pli- the pilot woman who uh, sent off the dinosaur. Yes, that was a. Uh, Dewanda Wise, yeah. played by Kayla Watts. She sees the little girl and she has like a, like a, what do you call it? Oh. An awe yeah, touching moment. Doo, 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 doo. Sad puppy dog moment. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh no, we're taking her to the pound? Why? You know, like that kind of like look. Can you look at these eyes and not cry? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Chris Pratt, they have an Indo Raptor chase, which is like, hey, more raptor chasing through yeah. like like oh. there was no way they were not going to get a raptor chase in. There was one <laughs> good scene that, that, that helped because there was one douchebag in like Morocco on his razor scooter and, oh, and he was just like cruising along and he looked and saw like a T-Rex. He's like, oh, look, a T-Rex. <laughs> he got wrecked. He was just like, oh, look, a T-Rex. <laughs> he definitely got taken out bathroom style, chopped yeah. up. If you remember the first movie, you'll know that reference. Yeah. So they, they, they fight the Indoraptors and they yeah. use the stupid laser thing and the laser thing doesn't work and then it's yeah. fine. It's fine. Doesn't matter. And they take off now. Now they're now there's okay. So they're pup, airborne. Pup, puppy dog pilot woman. Yeah, says I know where the girl puppy is. Puppy dog pilot woman. <laughs> Wanda. They didn't come out that that. <laughs> no, no, don't go there. <laughs> Sad puppy dog eyes because she yeah. saw the little girl. Yeah, yeah. She for sure got turned that way. She's like, she's like, don't don't ask why. Don't ask why. Yeah, and she speaks like that. Oh, and also <laughs> also she had a uh, a good a moment where she's like, I have a thing for redheads. And then the girl she was talking to. Everybody was like, "Huh?" <laughs> well, yeah, she's talking about Claire uh, Rice Dallas yeah. Howard. But uh, remember, she was like talk, smack talking a uh, an operator on like dre- new, on the Apple. Oh, HQ. I didn't. She had red hair. Put that together. She's like, "Don't be telling you like everyone your secrets." She's like, "Oh no, please don't." But she had yeah. bright red hair. Too. Right. Yeah, that, oh. that, that blew my mind. When I, was watching it. I get it now. But anyway, uh, they turn off the dinosaur. It was Agatha all along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she even killed Sparky too. <laughs> <Yeah>. Holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Uh. <laughs> uh, 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 this sucks. Oh, TP from a phone hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so they yeah. they get taken down because they turn off the dinosaur. Uh, yeah, it was thing. like yeah, it was like this the dinosaur uh, fence fence we'll or like uh, like like what do we call it? deflector shields? Yeah, <laughs> dinosaur yeah. deflector shields. Yeah, from from airborne dinosaurs. So the uh, so the, the 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 pterodactyls bring them down. Claire parachutes away like she yeah. emergency ejects. She and goes it, yeet. <laughs> yeah, whoa! <laughs> and everyone else crash lands. I don't know. Like they're like, we'll find you. I'm like how are you gonna find her? Like it's a big. We have a beacon. Th- yeah, they have a beacon, and it's a dinosaur world. Yeah, and like it's snowing in parts of it. Yeah, I thought Super this was weird. I thought I'll, this was gonna be a snow movie, but like it yeah, didn't, I did. It didn't uh, and then meanwhile, uh, back in Apple H quarter, <laughs> back, <laughs> back at Apple HQ, uh, the trio are reunited. The donut of doom. And uh, Malcolm yeah. is on is in on it, and he's yeah. and he's uh, telling him you guys got to go downstairs and take all these pictures of like the giant locust that you're yeah. looking for. And, and they're like okay. what what what? And then what? while that's happening, <laughs> a lot's happening, but like nothing is happening. Doctor Wu from the first movie and like the the super villain from like the last three movies yeah. meets the clone. He's like, oh my god, you're the clone, and like your mom wasn't really a clone; she was actually your mom, or no? Yeah. You know, it's like it's oh, like, she, you're a better version of her. Yeah, you you're should. a super clone. You weren't sick. Yeah. <laughs> She was um, so sick, dude. <laughs> yeah, she she was so sick. She died. How, oh how, no! How sick was it? She died. <laughs> full sick. <sand. Aww. laughs> yeah, she went full dead. Uh, yeah, but it's a big but. Yeah. So they managed to go down. They use uh, when they use Malcolm's clearance, they go down to the yeah. room. They take pictures. They just should have called the cops. Just yeah, they should have called the cops. Or 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 or, or the, so Malcolm worked with the first dude to bring. Grant and uh, yeah, Ellie so, down uh, So we find out it's uh, that Ma- played by, uh, was it, uh, Malcolm, Ramsey. Malcolm and the other dude, uh, what was his name? Uh, yeah, Ramsey. Malcolm yeah, and Ramsey, Ramsey Cole, played by Mama Doom. Could have taken the pictures, gone to the cops themselves. Yeah. But of course, that would get in the way of the plot line. Right? Of the dinosaur just saving. Bit, just a little bit. Work a little. 
Everybody, let's go home. Come back on Monday. <laughs> let's get let's it just, done. Just, 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 this smooth. movie would have been an hour and a half. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't. Was, you know, this movie was a long movie, and not a lot happened. Like we're already almost done with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, as the, stupid movie. Yeah, as the doctors uh, Sam Neil and Laura Dern try to escape. Sam Neil, Doctor Sam. Sorry, Neal. I'm saying the real names. <laughs> as Alan Grant also known, also seen in Event Horizon. <laughs> Yeah, so is and Jurassic Park three. Oh, good Alan. lord, it's, uh, Alan! So as they try to escape, he was uh, almost James Bond. I know there was a, that would have been weird. There's a weird uh, Scottish, Scottish. No, there's would have been there, the other one. There's a weird uh, what do you call it? Uh, audition tape of him being James Bond. Look it up, people. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Um, um, won't. Nah. <laughs> the weirdest one is Cillian Murphy auditioning to be Batman in Batman Begins. Oh, that was weird. He had like a weird fat face. That was weird. Like his Still face doesn't fit in the mask. Weird. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so we find out Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler are trying to get away through this network of tubes. <laughs> yeah, so they, they there's a lot of like, where the heck are they in relationship yeah. to everything else? Yeah. Because it, it looked like they were they like... They got the sample. They're trying to escape. Because every, everyone stuff. meets at some outpost at some point, right? But like, was the outpost like part of like where they everyone else was? Like, I, I guess it was a big donut and there's a hyperloop and everything. Yeah, things are underground. I've And and um and Dodson becomes a big super villain at the end, like really like... With real uh, Zuckerberg mannerisms, like mm, look at yeah. me, like doesn't finish sentences, and it just, just wants just, to punch him in the face. And a one, bit. yeah, and then like he goes, like one dude is like, "Hey, do you have like a power bar?" And he's like, "What are you talking about?" Like, yeah, power bar. You got a power bar like in your pocket? No, he like, said, "Do you have one of our bars?" Do you have one of our bars in your pocket? He's like, "Why would I have one?" Of your... I forget about. It. He's like, yeah. walks away. Like, like what? Uh, what? Yeah, what? Yeah, all the time, all the time. There's a lot of weird stuff like that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, yeah. So they managed to get the 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 clone girl and the dinosaur. He's wearing the dinosaur on his back. Yeah, and then, and then like they escape, and then uh, Grant and Ellie take the pictures, and then they escape because that that dude we just mentioned he's in on it too. Yeah, Ramsey. Ramsey's Ramsey. in on it too, and uh, they escape through the power loop, and then they all get stuck like in the catacombs or something, like some place where there's dinosaurs. Yeah, are hanging out. Yeah, there's some dinosaurs and. It's, so they get out of there, and now they're in this. Why did the whole thing go to hell? Because they turned off. Did they turn off the power? Did the power yeah, just they, turn off? Yeah, the power turned off. Because of course, the, the, they're like, like, oh, when, oh, who's running the power? Oh, well, Samuel Jackson. We yeah. hired. We hired him <laughs> in 1995 or 1993. Remember the I'm first trying time. to boot this computer, Damon. Uh-huh. That's what, as we said to the no, raptor no, the no. first time, <laughs> he just saw his arm. Yeah, there, was, there was no blood in this movie. No, there no, wasn't. Not a drop of blood, and then also uh, no one important died. Yeah. There were no stakes in this movie. No stakes. No stakes at Not all. Not even dino stakes. Yeah. Boy, no. <laughs> I could go for a steak right now. Yeah, same. Dude, it's been a while since I had a good steak. Same. I make a pretty good steak. Why? What kind of steak? What do you make? Uh, ribeye, my favorite. Yeah. You ever had a tomahawk? Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> I'm just not paying that much money for a freaking steak when I come Dude. To my home. I spent so much money on groceries lately. What's up with that? That's called adulting, man. No, no, it's not adulting. <laughs> this is different. Yeah. I've adulted before. This is the <laughs> trust me. Believe me, I have adulted before. Uh, <laughs> this uh, is something else. This is broken. This is something else. This is this is Dominion fallen world, <laughs> lost world. Yeah, run by Jurassic Park. All these Park. locusts are devouring our freaking crops. Anyway, <laughs> back to the movie. Uh, there's also that weird <laughs> scene. Me. Where uh, they're trying to meet with each other in the catacombs, and like Jeff Goldblum, uh, Malcolm meets them. He's like, "Oh, oh!" <laughs> After doing his voice, he's like, "Oh no, there's a password. No one told me there was a password. Oh, let, let me think like, for a minute. <laughs> zero, 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 one. Yeah. No." He's, he's like, like, "How about the year that 1984 was supposed to take place? 1984? Yeah. No." <laughs> he's like, "How about uh, my mother's birthday? 1945? No." It's How like, about and then, and then like the other dude like unlocks the gate remotely at the yeah. same time and he's like how about six seven four eight five he's like well, where do you know that was it yeah <laughs> exactly that was probably my favorite part was, in the movie it, it was so just because they were all so chill like he was so chill like, like yeah just and it was just systematically but then again he was a chaotician yeah so like theoretically that was bound to happen anyway. yeah and the the way he reacted was just like you expected to which is yeah yeah, and that's when they're like, "Oh, you made a, a deal with a dinosaur's mother." Yeah, <laughs> you know, really weird. Uh, you know, like all this stuff happens. Uh, I, I, okay, then then the, the the power is off. They have the little girl. They have the dinosaur. Yeah. Okay, and then this this part pissed me off the most. Just okay. as everything is going to hell. Yeah. 
Uh, they're like, we need to evacuate the building. He's like, oh, fine. Like, uh, it was him, Dotson's like, oh, fine, evacuate the building. What do I care? And, and then he goes and he has the, the Barbasol thing from the first movie. Yes. Somehow he found it. Yeah, the Tim Cook guy has the freaking, the bad guy, the bad no, guy. Uh, Dotson. Yeah, Dotson. Dotson. He has the, the thing that he sent Newman out to get from the first movie. Yeah. And which started the whole thing. Now, if you remember what happened to Newman. Newman tried to escape with that same with that same can. Barbasol can and got uh, attacked by the Dilophosaurs, also known as the spitters with the yeah. Shah. By the way, I had turkeys a long time ago. The, the sound that they make are the turkey noises like the <laughs> like, really. Yeah, the high pitch like <laughs> that's so crazy. Yeah, is it just did you <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. I had a wild <laughs> turkey. We had we had one turkey and uh, he we saved him from being eaten. Boy, that guy was fat. <laughs> he couldn't walk. Like every time I picked him, I felt he's gonna like fall through my hands. Like T one thousand. Turkey made a jelly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I forgot. Uh, so he meet, so Dodgson meets his his demise in the same way that the spitter spits in his eyes and yeah. he eats them very yeah. bloodlessly. Not only one, but he gets jumped by like three of them. Yeah, three three spitters, which we haven't seen since the first movie. Actually, we haven't, and it was very satisfying. So, no, it wasn't. No, we didn't get to see it. No, but it's the same way. It was, yeah. It was the exact same thing. It wasn't, sa- I'll say this. It wasn't satisfying as much as it was just a little a little reward, a little treat. I guess. It's like, <laughs> hey, here's a nod, because there was lots of nods in this movie. I even wrote, like, how did they all reconnect? Locust snapping pictures? I don't know. I have no idea. So they uh, end up meeting all, you know, and while this all is happening, the, <laughs> we forgot all, to mention. All the oh, dinosaur protagonists. <laughs> Hold on. So we forgot to mention one giant plot device, which no. was the locusts were caught on fire and they escaped their habitat and <laughs> they caught fire to the surrounding forest. And these dinosaurs all have a chip in them that allows them to be herded remotely to a sanctuary, which just happens to be the core of this giant death loop that we, uh, you know, Dr. Evil's hideout. And uh, now everyone needs to escape. But guess what? The dinosaurs are inside the building. Even the bad ones, especially the bad ones, especially the bad ones. Did and you notice that like that one T Rex that walked through that, that big circle made the logo? Yes, that's why I was coming around to this. Uh, so, so now they're all in there, and everyone's trying to escape. And we have our pilot, um, Kayla, Kayla Watts. She's over here trying to land. She's like, they're like, oh, don't land over there. The do- the the dinosaurs are there, and well, of course she's gonna land there. So she lands there. And then we start to see the battle of the century. <laughs> we got to see Wolves. What was it called? It was called, I think, a Wolvers, Wolverinosaurus Rex. Yeah, Wolverinosaurus, <laughs> Colossosaurus Rex. Yeah, it's like Edward Scissorhands-osaurus. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was. <laughs> it Slender was Man. like this. It was throwing gang signs down. Over. Freddy Kruegersaurus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, it was a nightmareosaurus. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> so we see that, and then we see Jasonosaurus, <laughs> the other one. No, okay, I like to think I'm okay. So I think it was called like Juggernautosaurus, something ridiculous. I, I came to a conclusion that that this was actually the T1000 versus the Terminator. Yeah, because the T1000 had the sharp hands. <laughs> but so get this, stupid. he beats up the the, the original T Rex. The original T Rex. The T Rex dies. Yeah, gets stepped on, just like the T1000 kicked the ass out of the T Terminator. <laughs> And then, just as you thought all was dead, the guy was dead. Remember, his eye lit up, and he woke up. And he woke up, just like the T-Rex in this movie. And then, guess what happens, everybody? I don't know. They saved the day in the movie. Huh? They saved the day, but <laughs> they get the, the Batasaurus Rex. Freddy Krueger-saurus. Sh- yeah, he was fr- gets shoved. Fr- yeah, Freddy Krueger-saurus gets shoved by original T-Rex and gets impaled by freaking wolverine <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> like holy crap that things fingernails are like teamwork makes dream work. Uh, yeah, dream and then work. somehow they have an understanding like you killed that bad guy. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> they're buddies after that. Yeah, and then the whole movie ended with like everyone coexisting all the humans <laughs> and the dinosaurs. Yeah, like, like that's just the, so the movie weird. just stopped that stops and now the dinosaurs are now you know that system that kept the flying dinosaurs from murdering everybody turned off turn, turned back on oh it did yeah and it keeps oh. keeps all them from flying away and now we have a sanctuary for dinosaurs and apparently dinosaurs live with us now <laughs> but the locusts are dead good there was closure there stupid locusts at the very least but what about the locusts everywhere else? oh that, that's right yeah uh dr wu because he was a super villain in like the last film but he was yeah. good in this one he yes. used the blood from 
<laughs> from the super baby dino, the super yeah, baby raptor from uh, and the clone girl. Yeah, from Maisie Lockwood's blood and yeah, you know, from he Blue's was able, blood. He was able to like yay yeah. and release like he's the anti, a hero. The anti yeah, he was, he, he was going to jail. <laughs> he did everything right. I don't know, but that was it. That was the movie. That was a lot of nothing. That was a lot of nothing. And uh, I got to get to the letter grades because I got a lot of something to say okay, about a lot of nothing. So, so hear me out. I'm giving this movie a B minus. Hear me out, world. The only reason this movie isn't a C plus is because Jurassic Park 3 literally put me to sleep. And I was a child then with no children of my own, which I have now. That being said, this movie absolutely had its downfalls from the clunky plot tacky emotional jabs and absolutely ridiculous dinosaur versus human fight scenes which we didn't talk about but you'll see i couldn't help but stay watching this movie it was just a simple and good adventure did it need to exist no will this movie win any awards i sure hope not will i watch this while i do things around the house for sure and that's the point it's just aware of itself enough to be worth the watch (laughs) it's funny how we both Give it a B minus, and we <laughs> and we both held it up against the prism of Jurassic Park three being terrible. <laughs> like somehow they made like the world's worst sequel to like anything. Yeah, that movie was a was so bad. <laughs> I saw it in theaters. I'm like, why? This I've yet was... to finish it. Really? <laughs> yeah, I keep falling asleep. At the end of Jurassic Park three, there's a scene okay. where they make it to the beach, and then the army, navy, and marines just show up and they pick them up. <sighs> That's how it ends. So glad I fell asleep. <laughs> Man, and did you see a, 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 a raptor and went, oh, then <laughs> it's like <laughs> they tap with their stupid claws. Oh, yeah, they did that, too. And they also started talking to each other. The dude had a raptor. <laughs> yeah, the dude had a raptor whistle. He's like, <laughs> then, they, then they give it the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, get to your grade, man. So bad. I, yeah. Tell so, me. Tell me. I can't. I'm really happy because I get to save on graphics today. <laughs> I also gave this one a B minus. <laughs> this was a fun enough entry into the Jurassic Park series. This is one of those series where there is no way for a sequel to surpass the original. But it was a fun to see dinosaur movie that was part mummy, part spy with a siege on Apple headquarters. And that's really it. That's it. <laughs> part part mummy, part spy movie. <laughs> And with dinosaurs. Yeah, okay, you know, got the kid in us, man, with these dinosaurs. No. Ugh. I don't even care that much about dinosaurs. Like, I, I like dinosaurs. I mean, dinosaurs are cool and all, but like, have you seen a dinosaur? No, I don't want them to exist either. Why not? No. We have elephants. Because they will kill us. Yeah, but elephants are giant vegetarians. What about coyotes? They're little. Well, relatively speaking. Well, here's the thing. Like, what about uh, great white sharks? That's true. Those like, are pretty rad, though. I'm just, I'm just saying. And like, I find myself less in water let's than I say, would on land with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's say I was driving uh, Yosemite National Park and got lost. Yeah. And dinosaurs existed. I'd be like, oh, crap, I'm going to get eaten by a dinosaur. Yeah. Uh, but the same thing goes like, oh, crap, I'm going to get eaten by a mountain lion or a grizzly bear. That's true. I guess you know? the dinosaur would be less of a harsh way to go since they could probably take you in one bite. That and like, you could probably see the top of their heads walking through. Yeah. If a dinosaur sneaks up on you. How does the dinosaur st- boom, <laughs> boom, boom, freaking Lotosaurus Rex over there? I know, but anyway, anyway. That, that has been our hot take on Jurassic World Dominion. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, yeah. do what you can. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and uh, <laughs> everywhere Instagram. else you listen to. Yeah, us. we're available on YouTube, podcast, anywhere yeah. you get your podcast. We have a real production here. We do. We have cameras. Cameras. If you want to see lights, what we look like? Microphones. Yeah. Yeah, things are hanging off the ceiling. This we have dude monitors makes, now. This dude makes ribeyes. I do. I make ribeyes. I also make really tri-tips. Good. Ooh, tri-tips. Nice. I don't have enough space to make a tri-tip. You don't have a barbecue? Oh, no. yeah, that's right. Yeah. No. Not enough space, like I said. Space. We'll air fry the, the crap out of something. Speaking of space, <laughs> did you know about that time that the dinosaurs got out and they kept getting out Then they got out again? Did they fight Jason? <laughs> no, but they fought. <laughs> In space? <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, man. But anyway, yeah. that has been our hot take. Wait, wait till the song is. Anyway, that has been our hot take on Jurassic World Dominion on Clubhouse Movies Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Robocawa. Join once again by Mr. Pineda. We'll catch you next time. 